Hello, everybody. In this session, we will see how to find the mean of group data. Or we will find this mean of group data by the state deviation method. And the formula of this state deviation method is x bar is equal to a plus summation of f d h upon summation of f into h. Now, we have a question. Find mean marks of the following data. They have given us marks of the student and number of the students. The marks obtained from 0 to 10 there are 18 students are there. 10 to 20, 14 students. 20 to 30, 22 students. 30 to 40, 26 students. 40 to 60, oh, 40 to 50, 60, uh, 50, 20 students. Now, what we have to do? We have to find in this question DH and A, F we have, H we have to find out, these variables we have to find out. How we will find it out? I will explain you. First of all, in group data, if you find out the mean, find out the mid value. Mid value is what? Mid value is 0 plus 10 divided by 2. 0, here I am writing 0 plus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 10 by 2 is equal to 5. So this is 5. And again I write 10 plus 20 divided by 2 30 by 2 is equal to 50. Now we have a simpler method. What we have to do here? If you have, you have the calculation that class width are same. Class width 0 to 10, 10 to 20. The difference is same. So what we will do? We will first find out the mid value of first class. This is the first class 0 to 10. 0 plus 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now we will see the difference. 10 minus 0 is 10. We have to add this difference again and again successively so we will get the mid value of other terms so we see 15 plus 10 25 25 plus 10 35 35 plus 10 45 so we have got the mid value now we have to find out the deviation from assumed mean it means da is equal to x minus a x so we have to find out what where is a a we can take the mid value, it would be better for us if you take the mid value. So 25 is equal to A. We are taking A 25. Okay, this is A. Now 5 minus 25 is equal to minus 20. 5x, x is 5. And 25 is 8. 5 minus 25 minus 20. 15 minus 25 is equal to minus 10. 25 minus 25 is equal to 0. 35 minus 25 is equal to 10 45 minus 25 is equal to 20. So you have got this deviation from assumed mean minus 20, minus 10, 0, 10 and 20. Now we see dh. dh is da upon h. da upon h da is minus 20 and h is what h is class width 
क्लास वेट इज इधर टेन माइनस जीरो टेन इज द क्लास वेट एच इज इक्वल टू टेन माइनस टेन एच इज इक्वल टू टेन एच इज टेन माइनस जीरो इज टेन क्लियर माइनस टेन अपन टेन इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू माइनस टेन अपन टेन इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन जीरो अपन टेन इज इक्वल टू जीरो टेन अपन टेन इज इक्वल टू वन एंड ट्वेंटी अपन टेन इज इक्वल टू टू सो यू हैव गॉट दिस थिंग माइनस टू माइनस वन वन एंड टू नाउ वी सी एफ इंटू डी एच इज इक्वल टू एफ डी एच एफ इज एटीन इंटू माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी सिक्स फोर्टीन इंटू माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी टू इंटू जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो ट्वेंटी सिक्स इंटू वन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड ट्वेंटी इंटू टू इज इक्वल टू फोर नाउ वी गेट हेयर माइनस फिफ्टी हियर वी गेट सिक्सटी सिक्स सो समीशन ऑफ एट डी एच इज इक्वल टू माइ सिक्सटी नाउ समीशन ऑफ एफ इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एटीन प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस ट्वेंटी टू प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड नाउ यू सी वॉट है x bar is equal to a a is here 25 plus summation of fdh summation of fdh is 16 summation of a summation of f here 100 into h H 10 10 minus 0 X bar is equal to 25 plus 160 upon 100. So X bar is equal to 25 plus 1. Six zero. X bar is equal to twenty six point six zero. So the answer is